Okay, so let me select this item here by just clicking on it. And now that I have selected it, um, I can do the three basic transformations, which are move, rotate, or scale. These three transformations are mapped onto the three mouse buttons. So left mouse button is move, middle mouse button is rotate, and right mouse button is scale. So if I want to move the item, I just click uh, with the left mouse button anywhere inside the item and move it around like this. Okay, as you would expect it from any decent editor application, nothing special. Now, rotation um, is done by clicking with the middle mouse button anywhere around the item. It doesn't have to be inside the item. So you can start your rotation by clicking here, for example, with your middle mouse button. Then your mouse cursor changes and a line is drawn to the center of the texture. And now you can just rotate around the center with your mouse, okay, at any distance. Okay. Um, you can hold down left control for uh, snapping to multiples of 45 degrees, like this. Okay. Rotation is uh, shown in radians down here, by the way. Okay, so this is rotation. Um, scaling is done uh, in a very similar way. You just uh, right click anywhere once an item is selected and then uh, you have the same thing. The mouse cursor changes and a line is drawn to the center and now you can move further away or nearer to the center and then you scale the texture. If you hold down left control, uh, scaling is snapped into steps of 0 0.1 like this so as you can see down here there is a step of 0 0.1 applied to the scaling okay so this is scaling um, you can um, change other properties of texture items in particular which are shown here uh, by just editing them in this property grid so there is this tint color, which by default is white. This is just a color that is uh, that each texture is tinted with when drawn. Uh, and you can change it by just clicking on another color, or even you can change the alpha value with the slider here. So if we um, tint it yellow, let's see what happens. We get this brown tone here. Okay. And there is, uh, there are two flags that indicate whether the texture should be flipped horizontally or vertically. Um, okay. And you can uh, also achieve this by pressing H or V shortcuts here inside the window. So this is vertical flipping, and this is horizontal flipping. Okay. Okay. So. That's about it. Um, you can undo or redo every action that you do uh, here. So undo. Okay. Or redo. You can even undo uh, several actions at once, like this. And the same for redo, of course. Okay. And finally, you can save your level um, as an XML file. Save, so for example, level 1 XML, like this. And let's have a brief look uh, at the XML file. OK, so you have um, the uh, level tag. and it each level has a name and a visible flag. Okay, then each level consists of layers, and this is the first layer, which is called uh, layer two. Actually, as you can see here, this is the same structure. Uh, visible flag again, and each layer consists of items, and this is the first item with its name and its visible flag, and then the item-specific properties follow. Okay, and here is the next item, and so forth. Nothing special, um, just wanted to show you how the XML looks. So, yeah, basically that's it.
Um, these are the basic features of Glee 2D. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or whatever, feel free to post them either here on YouTube or better at the forums on the official website of the editor, which is www.gleet2d.de. In the next video, I will sh I will talk about the advanced features of Glee 2D. So see you there, and thanks for watching.